I'm Faye Levinson for NCD News. What do you think will happen to a country where insurance premiums can be over £2,000, but fines for being uninsured are under £200? According to the Motor Insurers Bureau, uninsured drivers kill around 200 people every year on Britain's roads and injure hundreds more. The sheer scale of the problem is staggering. It is estimated that 1 in 20 drivers are now uninsured. That's around 1.5 million motorists, in case you were wondering. As well as the human cost, there is the financial one to consider. To put it crudely, each death is estimated to cost taxpayers around £1.2 million, and each serious accident costs around £140,000. The Motor Insurers Bureau, which compensates victims of uninsured and hit-and-run drivers, say the financial cost of uninsured drivers to the insurance industry is £500 million a year. So what does that mean to you as an honest policyholder? Well, that's £30 of your insurance premium that you shouldn't have had to pay. £30 each from every single car insurance policyholder in the country to pay for those that refuse to buy insurance. But while the number of uninsured drivers is on the increase, the average fine for driving without insurance has actually fallen from £224 to £185 over the past few years. The size of the average fine for driving without insurance simply pales in significance when compared to the maximum penalties for other, lesser crimes, such as conviction for graffiti, £5,000, failure to pay your TV license, £1,000, fair dodging on London transport, £1,000, smoking in a non-smoking area, £200, overfilling your bin, £110. Prior to August this year, courts could fine uninsured drivers a maximum of £5,000, although they were not able to hand down custodial sentences. Then, in the summer of 2008, new legislation introduced prison sentences of up to two years for offenders causing death by driving while uninsured, unlicensed or disqualified. Campaigners have long complained that the courts seem to operate under the assumption that driving without insurance is a victimless crime. The tales of misery and hardship resulting from uninsured driver accidents cross our news desk every day. It is far from victimless, and it is definitely not harmless. You only need to take a look at the reasons why many are uninsured to see what dangers lurk there. Uninsured drivers are ten times more likely to have a drink driving conviction six times more likely to drive a vehicle that is not roadworthy, and four times more likely to have a conviction for driving without due care and attention. That's why they can't afford insurance, because they are generally dangerous drivers to begin with. Needless to say, some observers remain skeptical about just how effective a deterrent the threat of a prison sentence will be. Even if it is widely announced, most will assume that if they are caught, they will probably just get a few points on their license and a small fine, not prison. And most will probably be correct in that assumption. So where are you likely to be in the most danger? Well, according to new statistics released by the Motor Insurers Bureau, it is more of an urban phenomenon than a rural one. Bradford emerges as the overall winner, or loser, depending on how you look at it, with three postcode entries in the top ten. In the Barker End, Bradford Moor and Thornbury area, a staggering two-thirds of car owners do not have insurance, six times the national average. Over half the drivers in Girlington, Manningham and Lower Grange areas of Bradford do not possess an insurance policy, whilst the BD9 postcode area had 39% of their drivers uninsured. So what could be done to stop the surge of uninsured drivers? Well. A large percentage of them are aged 20 and under. To see why, take our example of an 18-year-old male student from Bramhope in Leeds, driving a Ford Fiesta worth £1,500 and parked off the road at night. They would pay £3,448 for just third-party cover with Swinton. With the average fine for driving without insurance being just £185, it's easy to see why some attempted to try to get away without paying. 
so it would seem that one solution would be to help younger drivers get lower premiums. Insurance comparison websites such as moneysupermarket.com and gocompare.com all offer the chance to compare premiums and cut costs, sometimes cutting costs by more than half. Other incentives to encourage young drivers include the Pass Plus test, designed by the government's Driving Standards Agency. Fifteen leading insurers, including Churchill, Norwich Union, Swinton and Zurich, offer discounts of 5 to 35 percent to drivers who pass the six-hour course within a year of passing their driving test. The best defense, however, is for honest policyholders to take a zero-tolerance approach to uninsured drivers. If you know someone who is driving uninsured, you need to report it immediately. Remember, any damage they cause whilst they are uninsured comes straight out of your pocket. I'm Faye Levinson for NCD News.